in this video we are going to solve some examples related to booth's algorithm and uh, which came in competitive examinations like gate so this is the question that using booth's algorithm for multiplication the multiplier minus 157 will be recorded as what so first of all we have to get the two's complement representation of minus 57 so if plus 57 in binary it is represented like this so how do we take the two's complement of this we first take the one's complement and then we add a one to this so we will get this so this is minus one minus 57 this is the two's complement and a representation of minus 57 and now we have to recode this multiplier using booth's algorithm so how do we record uh, a multiplier using booth's algorithm for this you can check my uh, 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 my lecture on uh, booth's algorithm and this is the table that is used so if bit i minus 1 is 0 and the current bit is also 0 then the recording will be 0 so if both the bits are same then recording is 0 even if it is 1 and 1 then recording is 0 but if the preceding bit was 1 and now the current bit is 0 then the recording would be plus 1 or if it changes from 0 to 1 then the recording will be minus 1. So let us see how we can use this table to recode our multiplier which is minus 57. So for this we have to imagine that there is an invisible 0 over here. So now our bit is changing from 0 to 1 and if it changes from 0 to 1 the recording will be minus 1 so this will be recorded into minus 1 then 1 to 1 there is no change so it will be 0 because you see that if the bit changes from 1 to 1 then the recording is 0 again it is changing from 1 to 1 so 0 1 to 0 so 1 to 0 the recording is plus 1 so plus 1 over here 0 to 0 will be 0 0 to 0 again it will be 0 0 to 1 will be minus 1 and 1 to 1 will be 0 so this is the final recording of minus 57 0 minus 1 0 0 plus 1 0 0 and minus 1 let us take another example related to this again this was a gate question that two numbers given below are multiplied using the booth's algorithm. So the multiplicand is this and the multiplier is this. So how many additions subtractions are required? So we know that the number of additions and subtractions they depend upon the multiplier how many bits uh, plus 1 or minus 1 bits are there in the recoded multiplier. So if we have to find the addition or subtractions and they have written over here that they are using the Booth's algorithm that means the multiplier will first have to be recoded. So this is the multiplier and this is the table that we have used earlier. So we imagine that there is an invisible 0 over here. So 0 to 1 we know it will be minus 1. So 0 to 1 minus 1. 1 to 0 it will be a plus 1 so plus 1 0 to 1 again minus 1 1 to 1 there is no change so 0 1 to 1 again no change so 0 1 to 1 again there is no change so 0 so similarly we can recode this complete multiplier and we get this recoded multiplier now in this recoded multiplier we see that there will be 1 2, 3 and 4 additions of the multiplicand, 4 additions of the multiplicand will happen and these will be shifted versions of the multiplicand, you can please check my earlier video for this and 4 subtractions of the shifted multiplicand will take place. So 4 additions and 4 subtractions of the multiplic multiplicand will be required because we have recoded the multiplier using the Booth's algorithm. So in all we can say that there will be a total of 8 additions or subtractions required when we multiply these two numbers.